Welcome to day two to revolutionizing your photography business. I'm Uzar Karabala and today I'm going to show you how to send quotations and uh, bookings or confirmations uh, for jobs to your clients. Now before you send out any quotations you need to create your product list or the things which you sell. So we go to our products and as you can see I have entered quite a few products you can create as many as you like I can also put down a cost of each product and the price you can have up to three different tiers for pricing your products you can rename them just by over typing and that's it once you've done this you go to your contact now everything starts from a contact. You go to a contact, you enter his or her details, you go to the event step. Now to save us some time, I pre-entered the data, so uh, I don't have to type while you watch. To create a new event, all you need to do is click on this plus button and it will create a new entry. So I'm going to go to Janet and John's wedding. As you can see, this job is linked to John Smith. I've entered all the job information in here and I can enter as much text as I like. It's a free type box for the details. For the line entries, all I do is enter the quantity, which pricing tier I'm selecting, and I can put down, say, a diamond package it will auto enter the price and the unit cost I'll make one more line entry and say some 10 by 8 prints and now I'm getting a running total along the bottom for the total cost of the job the margins and the profit I'm making so I don't need to use any calculator um, to work out my margins and my cost all I need to do now is go to print either I can print on a plain paper or letter headed paper I'll go on to plain the system will pull in your logo your company details as you can see uh, the software has addressed John Smith and Janet Jones in their respective names it's very important for uh, the, the bride to be to be addressed in her uh, maiden name and it's very very easy uh, to do this and I'll show you how to do that the client receives a professionally laid out quotation with all the job spec on it along with the costings I'll cancel that for now to address the contact all you need to do is either select the main ad contact or the bride and groom uh, contact details and I've selected bride and groom and hence you saw it earlier on um, how it addressed the bride and groom uh, in the respective names I can add activities under this tab I can allocate photographers if I'm sending out other photographers to photograph this wedding or this job the invoices tab will list all the invoices linked to this job now this has got quite a few invoices attached as it is a test database um, so you usually will not get so many under the documents tab you can attach the contract by scanning it and inserting it over here for safekeeping or any other document you you may wish to uh, save over here this is a log of all your backups whether on external hard drives or on DVDs all you do is click on the plus button where you save that job whether it's on a server and you can allocate a reference number and that is it before you send out quotations or confirmations you can customize um, your communication to your contact so just by typing it over typing it over here I'm going to show you how the workflow feature works uh, tomorrow 
It's one of the most exciting and powerful uh, features of this software. Vendors, you can attach all the vendors associated with this job over here. It's very handy to have uh, this feature, especially for networking purposes. All the letters sent out for this job are listed in here. Under the cost tab, uh, you can link each and every penny spent for the job. I've got all the album cost in here, as well as the car parking cost, hotel bills, or any other ex expenses you may have occurred uh, for this job. It gives you a grand total along at the bottom, so you know exactly how much was spent for each job. So once you've sent the quotation to the client, um, the client may say to you, uh, please call me back next week or give me some few days to speak to my colleague or partner. All I will do then is create a reminder for myself to contact John Smith after seven days. All I'll do is enter it call back regarding quotation. Due date, keep it in 10 days time. There, and that's it. Now this reminder will come up on the home screen. So I don't have to worry about forgetting it anymore. So instead of writing it on a piece of paper or in a diary, all my reminders or things to do always come up on my home screen. And I can click on there and see which job it is. Go to the event. And uh, there you go. Re regarding quotation, I need to call back uh, John Smith. So this is how I will send out a quotation. Once I've spoken to the client and the client decides to go ahead, all I would do is confirm the booking, enter the confirmation date, and you can enter the production date and the delivery date if you wish, and that will be covered in detail um, tomorrow and in the workflow feature. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I'll see you tomorrow.